This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Quavus Guzzlers, Swigger Sivers, and all other good people out there. Hopswatch here. And welcome to what would appear to be an upgrade. You notice the new simpler intro, and also welcome to a much less grainy quality, even though I don't have much, much lights on. This is so much better in so many ways, yet the only thing I changed uh, was the camera. I used to use the onboard camera of my PC, now I'm using an external one, and there's just so much, so much difference. There's so much better quality. I, I can't, I can hardly imagine it. Or then again, I noticed how this was not an issue for the YouTubers and I thought, what kind of badass equipment do they use? Well, they just use a proper camera. It wasn't, so I got myself a proper camera and it wasn't even that expensive. Also, I moved things around a bit. I prefer this background actually to my to the huge empty wall. I was considering putting up a green screen. I'm not sure if I if I am going to do that um, later on. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Until now, I am pretty excited and happy about how things are now. And well, let's just get on to it. So this is the beer, and it's from the local brewery of Tiste Bruckhus. And the boomer needs his glasses. And again, I'm, I'm an exer. I'm very much an exer. Not deep down in, in the X generation. I'm actually uh, much closer to. Uh, I'm actually much closer to the millennial generation than I am to the boomer generation, but. Uh, I mean, that doesn't mean I can't act like a boomer for, for fun, can it? Does it now? Okay, so it's, um, what, so what they say about it, it's it's a dark and rich Christmas beer, uh, or Yule beer if you like, we call it Yule here in Denmark, which is uh, the official name for, for, for the season, so we, uh, yeah, we have our issues also with, uh, with War Against Christmas, but I'll tell you that once we crack this open. Um, so it's matured on American oak in the cold cellars in the brewery. Let's have a taste of it. The open is right there. Well done, Boomer. Not so much smell from just the bottle. I'm using these huge wine glasses because it's it is as far as I remember the beer I have tried it before it has a winey flavor to it so um, putting into the wine glasses is a good idea uh, also it's too large for my for my uh, dragon glass for the dragon chalice now the color isn't that far off neither for for red wine actually it has a deep red color a very a very beautiful beer uh, clear as far as I can see would be filtered with some very nice uh, off-white well actually light brownish foam which also has just a tad of a pink hue as far as I can see at least in this light which isn't very good light as I did mention So uh, a bit of raspberry actually, and um, and some deeper alcoholic notes, wineish uh, definitely. You can smell the oak. You can smell the oak, and that does make it um, just a tad sourish, not in a negative way, uh, but it does give it a kind of a winey feel to it. Let's have a taste. Very rich and very nice. And this is a beer that you would definitely want to to buy, uh, to serve not too chilled. Mm. 
has some bitter flavors which will really come forward if you serve it at about 10 to uh, about 10 to 15 degrees and even if it's if it's warmer than that it wouldn't do much damage i think but uh, ideal temperature between 10 to 15 degrees close to 15 i'd say <sighs> nice long drink beer yeah you can't sniff the beer once you've tasted it i was so close to, to, to just tasting it, actually got a bit of a foam in my mouth when I was uh, trying to sniff at it. But fortunately, it wasn't too much to uh, to destroy the smelling experience completely. But it wasn't full. It takes so little to 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 get flaws in your in your tasting experience. Okay, so the uh, Danish one on Christmas, it was a bit, bit different. It's a bit different from uh, from what you see in the States. What you see in the United States is the alleged war on Christmas, where <sighs> where Christians will claim that secular people, atheists mostly will go about saying happy holidays in order to suppress Christmas and calling the seasonal celebration at the 24th, which is here in Denmark, or 25th, which is it is basically everywhere else in the world, except, except places such as Germany and rest of Scandinavia and rest of Europe, because no, just you guys are weird because you've celebrated on the 25th, you, you utter weirdos. And, and we in Europe do it correctly. Now, please understand that. Uh, that's a digression, ultimately. So, uh, in America, we have Christians claiming that atheists and secular people are calling uh, Christmas holidays in order to uh, suppress the Christ part, the religious part. Now, uh, it's a bit of an, a different issue here in Denmark because we actually use the old, old heathen name for Christmas. <sighs> mm. I'm just gonna fill, fill in a bit more here. This is a very nice beer. Really make sure it's it's well tempered. Um, so here it's called Yule. So the, so the opportunity to take out the Christian part is is not it's not really an option here. The same way it is, as it would be wherever you call it something with Christ or it has a specific uh, Christian name. It started out with the uh, Swedish warehouse IKEA in Denmark. Uh, everything that is Swedish is basically bad. Personally, I don't think so, but um, especially the, the right wingers and those that, that claimed that, that there was a, a, a war on Christmas. And yes, it was the right wingers. <laughs> really, it was, and it will it will be clear clearer from what I tell. They see everything that's coming from Sweden as the worst of the worst. That's where they look to uh, to, to see how how a country goes down in, in flames, basically, which they claim that Sweden has done now for about 10 years, but you still have it there right across the water. Not exactly from where I live, that's more Norway, but yeah, but you, you get the gist of it. So anyway, uh, Ikea had uh, a number of Christmas decorations were, which they were advertising for and they were calling it uh, decorations for the winter celebration and that was kind of the headline and there was a sub headline which went uh, Christmas decoration or Jule Dekorationer. So they actually had the, the, the word Yule in them, but they did mention our winter celebration, which, which is, well, which may be a bit odd. Based on, however, that one instance from Ikea using both winter and Yule, the claim now was that the progressives were running a campaign to stop everyone from using the word Yule and instead use the word winter. 
There was another uh, other example from uh, the German uh, supermarket Aldi, which uh, also exists here in Denmark. But that's incidentally also the name of the song that I use in my in shows. It's an awful place. I don't go go there myself. I mean, I I shop discount all the time, uh, but there are limits to the level I want to stoop to. And also, they they treat their their employees absolutely horribly, even in socialist Denmark. So this guy, uh, Peter Skorup from the Danish People's Party, that's a far right wing party. So he found a couple of examples of the supermarket Aldi selling traditional Christmas sausages, which they called winter sausages. And, and immediately he concluded that uh, Aldi, in uh, just like Ikea, in order to uh, to well, actually suck up to the Muslims, and that, that's the whole thing. So IKEA is sucking up to the Muslims. They're sucking up both to the progressives and to the Muslims in order to, to make people stop calling it Yul, in, uh, in order to appease the Muslims. They, they of course, are, are, the, are the scoundrels in, in this uh, little Christmas story. Um, so basically he said that Aldi was renaming their Christmas sausages to winter sausages in order to appease the Muslims. Now sausages in Denmark <laughs> are made, you guessed it, from pork. Now Muslims, if they take their religion seriously, some do, some don't, if they take it seriously, they don't eat pork. So one could ask why the hell a supermarket would want to appease Muslims by naming a sausage they wouldn't even touch, let alone buy, to eat. To change, change its name from Christmas to winter, or Yule to winter. Absolutely bonkers. It also turned out that the winter sausage was actually an, an old invention. It has been there for years. They've had a winter sausage every year for the last many years alongside with the Christmas sausage and and the the difference between the two they weren't the same product there was a difference in in the spices that were used for for the Christmas versus winter sausage so uh, either the person who had sent Peter Skorup uh, the message uh, made the whole thing up or was just an idiot who hadn't researched the, the subject properly. Then there were the trolls. They were uh, taking photos of price tags uh, in a different discount supermarket, my favorite actually, called Facta. Chocolate Santas and candy for Christmas and Christmas de decorations were suddenly all renamed Winter Santas and Winter Decorations. Uh, and it turned out that of course, uh, that was all faked. Uh, it was all photoshopped and there was no uh, factor supermarket in Denmark who had ever, uh, let alone this year, renamed their Christmas decorations and their Christmas candy winter decorations and winter candy. So um, that was pretty quickly revealed to be a hoax. So that's when the whole charade um, was kind of hijacked by some of the people it was criticizing. Uh, I've, I haven't heard about any Muslim actually uh, talking about this, but I have seen a lot of progressives, including myself, making jokes, <laughs> making jokes about the, the, the alleged war on, on, on Yule in Denmark. There was actually a newspaper who, who, who picked up the thread because they thought it was as stupid as, as everyone else thought it was and started making jokes about it. It was this mechanic who refused to start it calling winter tires Yule tires because he had never called it Yule tires even though right-wingers were insisting that he should call them Yule tires because it was sucking up to Muslims to call them winter tires. So all kinds of, 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 of lame yet actually quite funny jokes like that and yeah, I was participating in that as well, I'm proud to say. Mm. That was the ultra short story about the war on Christmas in Denmark. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this beer, drinking this beer while I did so. Uh, and I'll give it I'll give it five stars because I'm in a good mood. 
it's almost Christmas and I'm actually looking forward to it. I, I enjoy Christmas, I enjoy being with my family. What I really freaking hate is, is buying Christmas presents. That's a circus I'd be without. I love the Christmas food, I love um, the lights going on going on everywhere. What I really could do um, with something more of is, um, is cold and snow. There's nothing here where I live. Actually my, um, my la the, the basement where I do my laundry is flooded. <laughs> I've, bought, I've bought rubber boots in order just to go down there to wash. I mean at least the, the, the washing facilities still, uh, are still in operation. It's a complete mess. We've had so much rain up here. Oh. Also, I uh, I actually went to a concert uh, a couple of uh, a couple of weeks ago with a band called Hexus, and um, th they are a band from Copenhagen, where, as you might know, I I used to live. I actually recorded my first videos there, and uh, go check them out. They are really really cool if you're into that kind of music. And at the concert, I promised them that I would be um, recording my next video wearing the t-shirt and so I stood up to my promise. So uh, if you like what I do, um, please hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also follow me on Twitter, I've got a Danish blog as well. I also have an Instagram account that I rarely use, but every now and then a, a, a something will come up, probably beer related. Oh. Not much else to say than that. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed my, my little story here. Uh, and always remember to drink responsibly and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Actually, it's more Scotland from across the water where I live. I want to go back to Scotland. I absolutely love Scotland.